just thought I'd try my hand at uh, vlogging and I just talked to myself for five minutes before realizing that I was not recording. So that's fun. Um, anyway, I am on my way to Indianapolis right now because I'm going to see Gavin DeGraw and Matt Nathanson tonight. Um, and I actually get to meet Gavin before the show, uh, which I'm really excited about. This will be about the fourth time that I've met him. Um, and the great thing about Gavin, if you've never met him, is that he is one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. Like, he's very grounded. He um, doesn't have an ego. Just very, very humble. Um, and truly, truly seems to care about um, his fans. So he and David Cook, who won American Idol a few years ago, are probably my my top two nicest celebrities. And Jason Mraz, he was very nice too. Um, sorry, I'm driving. I know this is probably not the safest thing, but I promise I have a hand on the wheel and I'm not really looking at the camera very much, so that's why I'm looking straight ahead. Um, but here's the thing. Gavin is just one of those people that he truly seems like he's in it for the right reason. I mean, I, I think he's a wonderful musician. I love him. Um, I often refer to him as one of my future ex-husbands. And the reason I say future ex-husbands is because I have a lot of celebrity crushes. Um, so I have to make my rounds. But uh, he uh, he's just always been extremely nice when I've met him. This will be either the third or fourth time that I've met him. Um, but yeah, just really nice guy. And I've met a lot of celebrities. Um, my teenage years and into my 20s, that's really what I did. I went to a lot of concerts. We'd wait at the hotel or we would um, wait at the buses or whatnot at the venue, things like that, and meet celebrities. Um, and I really have not had uh, too bad of an experience with anybody. Even the ones that sometimes uh, get a rap for being jerks, like, for example, Justin Timberlake, uh, gets a rap for being a jerk sometimes. He was nothing but nice to my friend and I, so I can't complain about him whatsoever. Um, John Mayer's another one who was overly nice to me, but I know has gotten a rap sometimes for being kind of a jerk. Um, I, I think all of that... <laughs> with those two comes down to a combination of how you approach them, which is the biggest thing. I don't run up and, oh my God, I've got to have a picture with you. You know, I stand back, hey, can I get a picture? Can I get an autograph? Whatever. And I think that, that helps quite a bit. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I feel like, you know, you're a celebrity and you are who you are because of fans. So, get over it, but I've never had that, um, I've never had that from Gavin, he's always just been nice, I mean, even one time he was late getting to the venue, the venue that I'm actually going to today, uh, which is White River State Park, it's right on the river, it's right next to the zoo, and uh, he was running late getting in, and I saw him and nobody else seemed to notice him, <laughs> and I was like, hey, can I get a picture? He said, listen, I, I really would, but... If I take one with you, then I'm going to take one with everybody, and then it's going to turn into me being even later than I already am. So, but he was very apologetic. You know, he said, I promise if, you, if I see you at the buses, I'll take a picture with you, blah, blah, I didn't end up going to the buses because that's just a, a shit storm when you try to get to the buses after a show. So anyway, um, I luckily know how this venue is set up. So I have to meet at the merchandise stand at 6.15 because we go to the meet and greet at 6.30. Um, and then the concert actually starts, I believe, at 7. I believe the opening act gets on at 7 or 6.30. I'm not quite sure. I don't even know who the opening act is, to be completely honest. I didn't particularly look. Um, but I know, like I said, Matt Nathanson uh, is the... I guess co-headliner, I guess this is what they call it, but uh, Gavin is actually closing the show. So, and Indianapolis has a noise ordinance of 11 o'clock, so it'll be over by 11. And then I live about an hour, an hour and a half away, so I'll drive back tonight. Um, and I am going by myself. Sad face. Um, I, I go to a lot of concerts by myself. Um, 
for a couple of reasons. Number one, I don't really have any friends anymore that go to concerts. My my concert buddy that I always went to see in sync and such with, uh, we had a falling out. Um, we were best friends for ten years. We had a falling out about five and a half years ago. So, you know, that was kind of the end of that. And, you know, my boyfriend would go. He's gone to see Gavin with me before, but he works and it's kind of hard to go when he's got to work tonight. So, although he was kind of upset that I was going, so I don't know. I think he's just worried that Gavin will sweep me off my feet, but, and he might, you know, I might end up married tomorrow. You never know. Um, but yeah, I just, uh, like I said, I just love going to see concerts and meeting celebrities and whatnot. So I will, uh, continue to do that. I'm supposed to go again Wednesday to see Gavin, but, um, I don't know. It's a long drive. So we'll see if I do that or not. I, uh, I don't know. We'll see. That's all I can say on that one. But, uh, so anyway, I'm going to pause this for a second because I think I missed my turn, turn around. And then once I get driving again, I'll talk to you some more. So now that I'm getting turned around, hopefully I can put these things together. If not, there'll be bits and pieces of a vlog. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, so finishing up with my concert discussion, or that's pretty much all I'll talk about on this. Uh, my first concert was when I was eight. I went to see New Kids on the Block, and I had lawn tickets at Deer Creek in Indianapolis. Um, and I just, the thing I remember about that is that I was uh, trying, <laughs> I got sick during the show. I think it was when Donnie took his shirt off because I was in love with Donnie even at eight. Um, and so anyway, uh, I just remember this lady giving me a drink of her uh, Dr. Pepper. I think that's probably why I don't like Dr. Pepper at all was because of that incident because I got really overheated. But that was my first concert. Um, <clears throat> I've seen, like, I I've probably been to more than 200 concerts in my life. Uh, most of those were NSYNC and John Mayer. Those are my top two so far. Um, I've been to over 30 of each. Um, I would go to more Gavin shows, but unfortunately he doesn't come around me very often. And while I used to um, travel long distances, <laughs> uh, as I've gotten older, part of it was I traveled long distances because my parents would drive. <clears throat> now I have to drive and I have driven to some, you know, further away. Like, uh, my friend and I drove, uh, to Atlanta to see John Mayer. Um, and that was an awesome, awesome show. Um, if you've never been to Chastain in Atlanta, it's really cool because there are, ta there's tables set up and you can actually have dinner there and everything. So that's kind of, kind of cool. Um, but any more four hours is about my maximum drive. And unfortunately, Gavin doesn't come around. I mean, he does, um, but he doesn't come around that often that I can go to 30 or more shows. So, yeah. Um, let's see. What else? Um, but yeah, I've been to a lot of shows. Like I said, a lot of NSYNC, a lot of John Mayer. Um, Jason Mraz, uh, Justin Timberlake on his own, Justin Timberlake with Christina Aguilera. Um, I don't know, just a lot of shows. It, it was my thing for a long time. And I think about all the money that I, uh, I spent on those shows <laughs> and I would be rich right now if I hadn't gone to that many shows, but you know, whatever, because here's the thing. I'm kind of a concert snob. Like my view is... Um, if I can, I hate to say this, but if I can't be close enough to see their face, then I kind of feel like it's not worth going. And I hate to be that way, but I figure I can listen to the songs at home. I want to see them and take pictures. Um, <clears throat> So my rule is I won't take anything past 10th row. So tonight I've got second row, but again, I know how the venue's set up. And 
after the opening act, uh, everybody can kind of go up to the front, so I plan on being in the front. I better be. I have to be. If, if I'm in a crowded space like that, I actually really have to be. Um, I really need to be up front because I get really hot, and then I start freaking out, and then I feel like I'm going to pass out, and it's just not cute. So, anyway. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go I'm gonna do a little shopping beforehand. Um, I'm going to go to a Maurice's. Um, they're running their sales right now, so I've got a huge haul coming up from them and some stuff from Tor that I ordered with my hot cash as soon as that last order comes in. Mainly, it was just clearance stuff. Honestly, I'm not impressed with their new stuff right now. Um, you know, Whatever. The, it's kind of ebb and flow with them. Sometimes I like everything, and sometimes I like nothing. And right now, I'm just kind of like, Meh. and they're bringing so much old stuff back. Like I already own this. Don't bring it back. I, you know, I don't need it again. And I mean, I, I guess it's great for those people that didn't get it the first time. But what about those of us who did? We want new stuff. So, but I'm gonna go there, and then uh, to to Maurice's. I was going to go to a tour because I do have some physical hot cash, but again, I don't really like their new stuff, and since you can't use it on clearance in the store, it's kind of, eh. Uh, and then I think I'm going to go to a Michaels. Um, I really need a new makeup organization. I was going to go try to go up to an Ikea this summer, but it hasn't really worked out, and I know their Alex drawer systems is what you know all the beauty gurus on YouTube use. And I really wanted those, but um, I guess there's one at Michael's that's very similar and cheaper. Uh, the Alex system uh, runs about 120, I think, and of course no discounts. These run about 80, but right now, starting today, there was a 40% off coupon, so I can get one for like 48 bucks. So I'm like, you know, until I can get to IKEA, or you know, if these are the these are just as good, then I wouldn't even need to go to Ikea, because the closest Ikea to me is um, Cincinnati, which takes about three to four hours, and, you know, it's just a long drive, plus, you know, I've got, I've got an Ultima, I mean, I can fit a, quite a bit of stuff in here, but when you start getting those giant boxes for stuff that you got to build, then, you know, I mean, I did, I used to have a Sentra, and, uh, we went to Ikea, and man, oh man, it was uh, it was packed to the brim. And let me tell you something, I had, I don't know if you guys know what, it's, what it is, it's called the Love Sack. And they came out a few years ago, and basically they're like a big beanbag chair, only they're made out of memory foam. And uh, I was in St. Louis visiting the friend I was talking about that we've had the falling out. And... Um, they were running, like, they were just opening the store. So they were running a promotion. You could get anywhere from, like, 30 to 99% off. So we got there, and I drew my coin, and I got draw eight more, or draw four more. So then I drew four more, and then um, within those four more, I had two more draw four. So the girl just put out eight tokens, and one of them was the 99% off. So these things run, like, $500. So I got a $500 love sack for $5. Um, but anyway, they come in these giant duffel bags, and then you actually have to break up the memory foam, which was a big pain in my ass. But anyway, we had two of those, because my friend Shell got one too. And then I had an ottoman that I got for it. Um, and, yeah. Then we went to Ikea. My car had, like, this little bitty opening in the back that you could actually see out of which was ridiculous but excuse me I've got kind of got pickups I'm getting those a lot lately by the way anyway um so yeah I mean I can fit stuff in my car because my center was about half the size that this car is but you know if I don't have to drive to Ikea if I can just go to Michael's and get something that's almost identical why not um, so I figure I'll get one to start with, and if I like it, you know, it's only an hour drive away, I can get another one. Plus the coupon you're only supposed to be able to use once per day for the 40% off, and since 
I don't have anybody with me, you know. Um, but anyway, once I get done at Michael's, then I'm going to go. There's a shopping center called Metropolis, which is an outside uh, mall. It's not an outlet, but it's just outside. And they've got an Ulta and a, a Sephora and JCPenney and Elaine Bryant. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time there and then plan on being at the venue. I'm going to eat somewhere in there too. And then plan on being at the venue sometime around 5. The doors open at 5.30 and I have to be at the merchandise stand at 6.15. So I like to be able to park and then just kind of relax and not do anything and, you know, not get sweaty touch up my makeup, things like that. Um, now this show has half general admission and half reserved seating. Again, I have to have a reserved seat, but I don't want to end up at the back of the line and not get in until six and then have to worry about rushing to try to um, get to my seat and whatnot. So, you know. Um, but yeah. So... I'm going to hit Michael's on the way back because this is where I would turn to go to Michael's. But I want to go to Maurice's first since it's further out. And then I'll go to this when I get back. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to eat for lunch. I always like to eat someplace that I don't have in my town. Um, so I might go to Noodles and Company. That kind of sounds good. Or Culver's. That sounds good too. I don't know. Um, what else can I talk about? I just kind of ramble. You guys know me if you've watched my stuff. That I just kind of ramble. Like, la, 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 la. Um, let's see. Um, if any of you have any advice on dogs with separation anxiety, I need that. Spaghetti is just getting worse when I leave. Uh, she wakes my boyfriend up. She digs at the door. She pees. She does... And I mean, I've got I've got anti-anxiety meds for like when there's loud noises and things like that. But everything else that I've been prescribed, like Clomacom and this composure, this homeopathic thing, or holistic or whatever, none of that worked. And I don't know what to do with her. Like, I love my dog, but she's driving me insane. And I would put her outside, like during the day when I'm gone, but she's a pit mix and she likes to jump the fence so I had to put her on a tie out and then that worries me you know just leaving her on a tie out because one she can get off of it and two she uh, you know she could easily wrap herself up and I don't like doing that so um, you know I'm kind of at the end of my rope with her I've got an electric fence that I can put up um, but I just haven't done that plus the fact that I don't trust that she won't just go right through it because that's what she does my hair is, uh, I just got it done yesterday. I got the purple redone and the black. Um, I just kind of, I use one of those deep waivers. My boyfriend was like, why you got to go look all pretty? And I'm like, because I'm meeting Gavin. Duh. He's like, you don't look like that for me. Take me out. I'm not going to get dressed up to go to Cracker Barrel. Okay. So, this, this vlogging with people around is kind of awkward. It's like, yes, I'm talking to myself on a phone. So, and my makeup, by the way, um, I got the new Melted uh, Fig is my lipstick. And then on my eyes, I use the Electric Palette. I use the silver, the magenta, and the purple. I don't know the names off offhand because I don't have the palette with me. And then underneath, I used the uh, teal color. So, yeah pretty excited um I don't know I don't really have anything else to talk about right now until I go shopping and then hopefully I'll find some good stuff like I said they're running 75% off at Maurice's right now they haven't done their their big big sale like I said with the 995 that I've talked about before um but I've gotten some silver jeans so of course if those go down in price I will price adjust those the shirts are a better deal right now to get um, than it is on the 995 because the shirts are averaging seven to nine dollars and of course 995 would be more so I don't want to do that um, duh, duh. what else 
I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and stop this for now. Like I said, hopefully I can put all these together. If not, then you'll just see, you know, like vlog part one and vlog part two. Um, I'll try to vlog whenever I get back to meet Gavin. I won't be able to vlog while I'm meeting him, obviously, but when I'm standing in line, I'll see if I can film a little bit because, you know, he is, uh, in my opinion, he is a sexy man. <laughs> I, I adore him. I think part of it is not just that I think he's attractive. I think that, like I said, just the um, fact that he's nice just makes it him all the more attractive. So um, if you guys would like to hear some of my celebrity meeting stories, I have some uh, some good ones, like Jason Mraz and his underwear. Uh, I also have stories about getting uh, stuff at concerts. Um you know, not just like drumsticks and shirts. I mean like major, major items. Um, I'd be glad to talk about those too. Just leave a comment down below if you're interested in hearing about those. Uh, I love telling my stories. I tell them to my students all the time and they're just like, what? I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm awesome. Just saying. So, all right. Anyway, again, if you want to see more, just comment below and I will film again later. Bye. Hey guys, um, <clears throat> it's really late, so the lighting is really bad in here, but uh, I wanted to go ahead and give you guys an update um, on how my Gavin DeGraw meet and greet went. Um, my dog's taking a big drink of water, so sorry, and I wouldn't doubt if some animals jump up here because I'm filming in my living room. Anyway, <sighs> um, I wasn't able to film during the meet and greet. They were very specific about not having um, cell phones out, cameras out, anything. And I didn't really want to get kicked out of it, obviously. So, um, basically, um, they switched the meet and greet to after the show. Um, which kind of sucked because I was looking all cute before the show. And then, of course... You know, it was 80 degrees, which it's not extremely hot by any means, but I'm a fat girl and it's hot when you're outside and there's no air conditioning. Um, but anyway, so before the show, I went and picked up my uh, VIP pass and then we had to meet um, after Gavin's set uh, at the merchandise stand. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I keep, I've got this tickle in my throat that won't go away. Someone told me it was allergies, so... And I'm about to get a cat. This is Jude. He's my boy. There he goes. Anyway. Um, so, Andrew McMahon or something like that was the opener. And he was okay. I mean, nothing spectacular. And then Matt Nathanson was the uh, co-headliner. And he was pretty awesome. He was, he, that man likes to shake his, uh, shake his hips and his butt. He was pretty, uh, pretty cute. Um, good set. Uh, their music was, was pretty decent. Um, and then, sorry, there's a moth in here and I do not like moths. I know they're just ugly butterflies, but... I know I'm random. I'm like a dog, like a squirrel. Um, but my cats are watching it, so hopefully we will be mothless soon. Anyway, <clears throat> so Gavin actually got on about 8.55. And, um, God, I love that man. Seriously, I love that man. Um, hang on. There we go. Sorry, I'm uploading uh, the other pieces of this so I can try to link them all together. Hopefully this will work, so fingers crossed. Um, so anyway, so Gavin was on for a little over an hour. And this venue was weird this time because every show I've ever gone to, they let, I, I said it earlier, they let everybody go up to the front. So I was waiting for it. Like, I was not getting pushed out they would not let anyone go up to the front. Even the front row people, there was no fence up. Like, literally, it was front row seats and then this huge gap and then the stage. There was no fence in front of the stage, which I thought was really odd. 
but they wouldn't let anybody go up. So I ended up being second row. Um, and very good seats, almost dead center. I was like third, the third seat from the, the center aisle. Um, and if you've never seen Gavin in concert, he's awesome. He's truly, truly awesome. Um, you know, it's hard to be an entertainer that plays, uh, an instrument like the piano because you can't be up and running around like, uh, you know, somebody who just sings like just as an example. Um, and he doesn't always just sing, but like Adam Levine from Maroon 5, he's all over the place. You know, some songs he does play guitar, but he's just all over the place. So anyway, uh, but he's so entertaining, even just playing piano. And again, he's up during some songs and during parts of songs and whatnot. Um, so his set was a little bit over an hour. So um, after his last song, he just kind of stood on stage, shook people's hands, uh, signed autographs, things like that. And in the meantime, I just kind of went ahead over to the merch stand because I figured I'm about to meet him anyway. So it's kind of dumb to stand in line. So anyway, so I get over to the merch stand and we're supposed to get, um, we're actually supposed to get three things, but I only got two of them, but whatever. Um, so I asked the guy who was in charge of it when we were supposed to get our stuff and he's like, check in with me. He's got this really gruff voice, but anyway, um, so I got my shirt and a cooler, which is kind of random, but apparently coolers are the thing to give out now because Ulta did. And now Gavin DeGraw is giving out coolers. Whatever. Anyway, so they came out and they took um, the radio winners in first. And, and I say in, I should say back because we were literally on the grass. We weren't in a building at all. And, uh, so they took them back first. There were two radio stations, uh, that had given away tickets. And then they came and got the VIP people, which was the group I was in. And then anybody who won, um, like a contest that wasn't radio related. So anyway, they took us back and then, um, you know, it's a lawn, but then there was like a, a cement wall around it. So we all had a seat there. And they had a backdrop set up um, that says Gavin DeGraw. And what they've done with this tour is they have a professional photographer that takes your picture. Which I guess is nice, but at the same time, I would like to know what my picture looks like. Like right then and there to know if it needs to be redone. Because if I look like crap, mm -mm. Um, but anyway... So you're not allowed to take your own camera back there. Um, so anyway, so I was sitting there talking to this girl who had been sitting next to me at the show. And um, we went ahead and added each other on Facebook because I took pictures throughout. And she's like, those are really good. I can see them on, your, you know, on the screen or whatever. And then we started talking. And you know, she'd met him before, too. And I had a picture of the two of us that I wanted him to sign from the last time I met him, which was last, uh, last year in Columbus. And, um, so anyway, so we start going up, you know, he comes out, of course he's showered. See, that's not right. You make all of us stand outside. We're all stinky and you go and take a shower. Thanks. Anyway, so basically each person goes up. They're allowed to have one thing signed, get a picture. Um, they had a security guy standing there to hold, you know, your purse or whatever. So as we get closer, um, <clears throat> the people like two or three in front of us, and I say us because I, I'm talking about this girl that I met there, um, they were like, well, you can take individual pictures and then we'll get one of the two of you together. So I looked at her and I said, we should tell them we're together because then we can get two pictures with it. <laughs> so that's what we did. We get up there. Brittany goes first and she had a set list from the show. So he started to sign in. He goes, am I supposed to sign this too? And I said, no, that's my picture. He goes, oh, 
And he's like, I'm sorry, I'm Gavin, you know, he because he didn't realize we were walking up together. And I said, hi, Gavin, I'm Jamie. He's like, nice to see you again, Jamie. Thank you for coming. And so he starts signing stuff, signing our items. And I said to him, pretty much what I said to you in the video, <clears throat> but I just said, Gavin, I just wanted to say thank you. At that point, he turned and looked at me. And so I just want to say thank you for staying grounded all of these years because you are exactly the same as you were when you first started out and I first met you. <clears throat> you have have remained one of the nicest people that I have ever met, especially one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. And he, I mean, he looked me dead in the eye and he's just like, thank you so much. And then got a fist bump from Gavin. And I said, you know, you're in an industry where so many people let fame and stardom go to their head, and you have never, ever done that. You are truly and genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever met. And he said it is a very douchey business, and it's, you know, there are a lot of douches in it, basically. And so then <laughs> he looked at me and he goes, or I said, you know, again, I just think you're very nice. And he said, well, I think you're very nice. And I said, yeah, I'll try. So I had my little moment. And he said, so who would you say is the douchiest? And I think I said this earlier in the in the vlog. Shannon Elizabeth, 100% douchiest person I've ever met. And he's like, well, that's a whole, uh, whole other ball game. You know, those actors and actresses don't know what they've got. So anyway, so Brittany went up. So then he asked how to spell my name. He signed my autograph. I thanked him. Um, so then Brittany went up and got her picture. Then they did the picture of the two of us together. So then when it's my turn, I said, can I have a huggy picture? And he's like, sure, baby. He's like, come hold me. And I'm like, well, yeah, okay. So I have a huggy picture. I hope to God... I don't look like a hot mess, but who cares? Even if I do, I was hugging Gavin and he, yeah, yeah. Um, so anyway, so I got my picture and I thanked him again. He's like, no, really, thank you. And that's the thing. I mean, <laughs> part of it is I buttered him up because if he told me no to a huggy picture, then I'd be like, I take everything I said back. You are not the nicest person anymore because I've gotten huggy pictures from David Cook. Um, but no, he, uh, again, was just as sweet as as you will get. So I highly, highly recommend, if you ever have the chance, not only to see Gavin in concert, but if you ever have the chance to do a meet and greet or meet Gavin at his bus or at his hotel or whatever. I highly recommend it. He will blow any expectation you have out of the water, both on stage and off stage in person. Um, <clears throat> so definitely, definitely go see him. I support him 100%. Uh, I was talking to my friend Megan and I about it. And she said, you know, he's one of those people that you don't care that they're getting rich off of what they do. And I really am not because he deserves everything that he gets. 100%. And I highly recommend looking on YouTube. There's an old video that he did um, showing his old apartment off. And <laughs> hilarious. He's got an air mattress. He's like, everyone wants the comfort of sleeping on air. Or something. I just... He cracks me up. He's a really funny guy. He He's just awesome. So, I love him. I love Gavin DeGraw. Love him. And he's not country. If you don't know who he is, YouTube him. Because I say DeGraw, and people think McGraw, like Tim McGraw. He's not country. Please. Please. Don't make that mistake. I... No offense if you like country. I do not. So, he's a piano man, and I love him. So, I will talk to you guys later. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I'm sure it's very long at this point, because this part is a little over 13 minutes. So, I will see you soon. Go check out Gavin DeGraw. 
See you guys later.